So how should we balance the promoting our use of AI to encourage customer excitement while not making it a distraction? And then also for startups using AI, what are some of the new obstacles or barriers that you envisage along their path to scale? Are they the same obstacles that have always always been there or should we be prepared strategically for something completely different? The first thing I would say is the most powerful asset that you have as a founder is really truly understanding your customers, their problem and their needs. Most people besides investors, tech founders, a few journalists and and a few politicians, really what they want to do is to drive a better car. They don't really care what's under the hood. Then there's going to be for sure some very, very specific AI related challenges. I mean, the first one is there's a huge talent gap. There's only 3% of the American workers which are uh, which possess the technical skills necessary to work in AI. And so even if you want to be like really big in AI, 3% of American may be qualified to help you with that. There's going to be a data gap because all the AI models that we're talking about are only as good as the data put into them. And the last one, I cannot not talk about it, is bias. We, I think it's been, it's been written a lot about, but there is explicit bias when humans train AI, and this will drive problems that we don't really fully understand yet, but this, this is coming too. So, and that's going to be a challenge uh, for founders who are, uh, who are focused on AI. <laughs> 